Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, Amen. We'll start with the Shema, listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love. To Yehovah, with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Genesis chapter 6. In time, when men began to multiply on earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were attractive, and they took wives for themselves, whomever they choose. Yehovah said, My spirit will not live in human beings forever, for they too are flesh, therefore their lifespan is to be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterwards, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. These were the ancient heroes, men of renown. Yehovah saw that the people on earth were very wicked, that all the imagings of their hearts were always on evil only. Yehovah regretted that he had made humankind on the earth. It grieved his heart. Yehovah said, I will wipe out humankind whom I have created from the whole earth, and not only human beings, but animals, creeping things, and birds in the air, for I regret that I ever made them. But Noah found grace in the sight of Yehovah. Here is the history of Noah. In his generation, Noah was a man righteous and wholehearted. Noah walked with God. Noah fathered three sons, Shem, Ham, and Yephet. The earth was corrupt before God. The earth was filled with violence. God saw the earth, and yes, it was corrupt, for all living beings had corrupted their ways on the earth. God said to Noah, The end of all living beings has come before me, for because of them the earth is filled with violence. I will destroy them along with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. You are to make the ark with the rooms and cover it with the pitch both outside and inside. Here is how you are to build it. The length of the ark is to be 450 feet, its width 75 feet, and its height 45 feet. You are to make an opening for daylight in the ark 18 inches below its roof. Put a door on its side and build it with lower and second third decks. Then I myself will bring the flood water over the earth to destroy from under heaven Every living thing that breathes, everything on earth will be destroyed. But I will establish my covenant with you. You will, you will come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. From everything living, from each kind of living being, you are to bring two into the ark to keep them alive with you. They are to be male and female. Of each kind of bird, each kind of livestock, each kind of animal creeping on the ground. Two are to come to you so that they can be kept alive. Also take from all the kinds of food that are eaten and collect it for yourself. It is to be food for you and for them. This is what Noah did. He did all that God ordered him to do. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Genesis chapter 6? We can learn some great truth that has been forgotten in our day and age. We can trust that the Spirit of Elohim lives in human beings. Know that Elohim has set a limit 
on our lifespan to 120 years. Aim to set the imagings of your heart always on good only. Aim to please Jehovah by your obedience to his written commands. Aim to be like Noah and find grace in the sight of Jehovah. Aim to be righteous and wholehearted. Aim to walk with Elohim daily. Aim to have a family that is pleasing from the perspective of Jehovah. Trust that Noah listened and obeyed exactly what Jehovah said to do. Trust that Jehovah promised to make a covenant with, Ye- with Noah. Aim to be in the presence of Jehovah. Trust now more than ever how big of a deal male and female is. Extremely relevant. Aim to do all that Elohim orders us to do, just like Noah did. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can teach others to be righteous and wholehearted. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. And how can we bear one another's burdens? We can aim to do all that Elohim orders us to do, as a living example for others to see and replicate. We'll end the periodic blessing. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete.